guys are here with Gator's truck. Uh, I want to start out thanking everybody for uh, your purchase. Part of the proceeds go to Gary Sinise Foundation. If you don't know who Gary Sinise is, he's Lieutenant Dan from Forrest Gump. Um, but we just wanted to say thank you for your purchase and uh, supporting a good cause. So uh, we're here in Gator's truck. His stripe has already been gone for uh, a little bit of time here. Um, but the actual stripe is going to come to you with a razor blade. You just unpack it. Um, and then when you get it unpacked, you'll have your needle already pre-threaded. You want to fold it over so that both ends line up. And you can use your factory stripe if you've got it to kind of gauge where you want the holes. But start out by poking one hole right in the middle. The hardest part about this install is not poking yourself. So if I go ow, then you know that I poked myself. So I've got my first hole started right here in the middle and just kind of open it up a little bit. And then you want to go equidistant in between the edge and that center hole. So go equidistant right here. I'm just going to go ahead, put it through. Hopefully you don't hear me say ow. And you can see that I've got my second hole right here. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. And this is going to come pre-threaded with the knot already at the end. Uh, so it's not going to pull through whenever you go to do the stitching, which is the next part. So keeping it lined up. And we've got the third hole right here. So got my three holes and... The inside is going to have the seam. If there's a little bit of glue on there, don't worry about pulling it off. It's going to do nothing but help you keep it centered. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to start out by going through the inside of one of your outside holes, if that makes sense. So one of the edge holes, start out with the inside, and you're just going to pull it through. It's also 30 degrees out here with snow on the ground while we're doing this, so we chose a really good day to do it. Uh, so go ahead and pull it through so that your knot is up against the inside. And then you're going to come around, make sure that you've got your thread over the top, and you're going to come to the inside of the corresponding outside hole on the other side. A lot of sides I'm saying here. Once again, if you hear me say, ow, that means I did it wrong because I poked myself. And we're not going to draw it tight just yet. Make sure that you don't tie yourself into a knot by going in between the two. <coughs> and I screwed that up. I actually want to go through the outside of it. You think that after I sell all these, I'd know how to install them, right? <laughs> all right so inside to the outside and then we're going through the outside of the outside hole in essence you want the stitch to show up on the outside so we're not going to pull it tight just yet and now inside hole of the center it's going to make sure you don't tie it into a knot on yourself and then go to the outside hole of the center. And once again, we're not going to pull this tight just yet. Just try to get them so that they're even. And then inside hole is the last on the outside. If I can find it. It's right there. And once again to the outside hole. Right here. And once we get this one through, my fingers are already starting to go a little bit numb. Yeah. Make sure you're you pulling know. it to the outside of all of your loops. So now you have all of your loops right here and you should kind of start seeing it come together. We're going to start drawing it tight. So you can use the needle, you can use your fingers a little bit, but you want to start tightening it up. And not so tight that you're actually pulling the knot through. And these are cut in a way that the vinyl will actually stretch. So whenever you guys get them out of the box, if they look like they're off by about a quarter of an inch or so, that's fine because this vinyl is actually going to start to stretch. So you can see it taking its shape here. We're just going to pull this one through here and then rotate it around so it matches up with the stitching on the bottom. 
And then if you want to move the camera down here, you can use the actual needle to finish drawing them tight. Keep even pressure on the outside one. Draw them tight. Draw them tight. I didn't ask Gator for his keys before we started this, but it's easier too if you can turn the wheel over underneath. Oh, you got your keys on you. Look at that. <laughs> Just unlock it. You don't need to turn the truck on. There we go. That'll give you a little bit more visual to play with. And if you're really concerned about the little bit of the white vinyl that's showing, which doesn't show while you're driving it or whatnot, you can grab a red Sharpie and fill it in. A couple of guys have said they did that. And also, if you screw this up and you cut it at the end and you want to redo something, grab your tackle box and get some light test fishing line and just rethread the needle. So if you ever want to take it off or you order a couple of different colors and want to switch them up, the fishing line works too. So all I'm doing is just drawing them nice and tight here, and this should be about it. So, once we get it there, turn it back around to the top, and you should have your stripe looking nice and pretty there. And then grab your razor blade that's provided in the kit. You can use this to cut the old stripe off. You just cut those three right there. But pull the needle out as far as you can and just cut your needle off. Don't stab yourself once again if you say, ow, you did it wrong. And then the last step is just like tying your shoes. You're going to go over and cross them here. Up at the top, it'll suck the thread in as soon as you get it tight. And then you're just making a square knot. So. Get it good and tight. Don't break the thread once again. If you do, grab some fishing line and you learn what not to do the next time. And then tie it in. And we're almost done. Grab the razor blade. Be careful not to cut yourself or the wheel or the stripe. And cut as close as you can to the leather and the vinyl. And you got that little bit sticking out. Just grab the back side of the blade. I'm trying to do this left handed for the video. And tuck it in right next to the edge of the wheel and boom your stripe is installed it takes longer to watch the video than it does to actually do the install once again thanks for your purchase and thanks for helping out gary sinise foundation make it a great day